Hi everyone! In this tutorial, we'll cover the process of adding and removing languages for your satellite reports. This includes understanding the impact on API units consumption when multiple languages are involved. For example, if you initially generate a report in English and later decide to add French or Spanish, the number of units consumed by the API will multiply by the number of languages selected. This is crucial to keep in mind as you manage your report settings. Let's dive in and see how to use the Add Report Language API endpoint to add new languages to your reports. Now, we will see how we can add languages to a report, like the languages in which we want the reports to get generated. We will see how we can add languages and how we can remove those languages as well. Keep in mind that if you add a particular language, like suppose you initially want the language to be English, but now you want it in some other language like French or Arabic. Now, if you add another language, the units being used in the API will now become the multiple of the number of languages you want. So, if you are generating one language and it's consuming one unit, now if you have two at a time, two units are being exhausted. If you have three, then it will become the multiple of three. Please keep that in mind. Now, let's see the API endpoint for adding the language to the report. The endpoint name is add report language. We will use this endpoint and let's see what we need to pass in the body the UID, field ID, and the language. We need to pass them in an array. We will add another thing in the body, which is the languages for which we want the report to generate. For example, English, Hindi. You will get all these language codes in the API doc, here at the bottom where the constant values are mentioned. You will get all the language codes here. Now, if I click on the send button, you can see we have got the response languages updated. This is how you will get the response indicating that the languages have been updated for that particular field. Now, the report will come in these two languages, English and Hindi. Next, we will see how we can remove a report language. We have an endpoint named remove report language that is available here as well. It's in the API doc. We just have to use that endpoint and mention the languages we need to remove, along with the field ID and the UID. Suppose we just want to remove English now, so we'll click on the Send button. Now we got a response. Language updated again. We have removed the English language from this particular field, so now the report will only come in Hindi. This is how you can add and remove languages for a report. Great job! You've now learned how to effectively add and remove languages for report generation using the appropriate API endpoints. Remember, when you add multiple languages, the API units consumed will multiply accordingly. By mastering these steps, you can ensure your reports are generated in the desired languages efficiently. Thank you. See you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.